welcome. I'm Chris and I'm Tech Talk Doc and today we're going to talk about Airplay 2 and streaming music. Yeah. I will always be and am an Android user. Let's leave it right there. But that's where my issues come in. So, yeah. I'm an Android guy. I use Samsung Z Fold 5 right now and you can see I have my three amps here and I have approximately 22 airport expresses that I use as receivers so we have our receivers we have our amp and our speakers in every single room of the house but how do I get it from my Android device to here well with the Apple it's easy you just airplay too bam but with the Android it's a little tricky it took me some time to find the right app to make it work and that's what we're going to talk about today. But I, I can't tell you how frustrating it's been, you know, ha having events, having, you know, entertaining, and having to actually pick up an iPhone or use the iPad that is on my wall. So I have strategically placed in certain areas of the home iPads. But it becomes a little tedious when I'm switching between the iPhone and the iPad and the Android phone. So what did I do? Well, I've been waiting for a long time to get that perfect app that did it all. Well, I did find the perfect app for Windows and if you're looking for a Windows app that will play multi-zone, multi-room um, audio through the AirPlay 2, what you need to download is Toonblade. Pay for the full version, I'm going to tell you right now, it is great. It, it, it's, it's amazing, and it automatically finds my receivers in every single room. And there's a lot of them. And um, so my Android comes, and my Samsung. So what am I using, and is it working? Yes, it's working, and it's called air music i was a little apprehensive i'll tell you to, to use it why because it said it was five dollars you had to pay for it and i was worried that i'd try and it wouldn't work like every other damn thing i used to try and stream my audio you know from i i personally use youtube music so i was a little worried it, you know I mean, five dollars, whatever. I read about it, the reviews. They said it was the greatest thing since sliced bread, and to be honest, it did what I needed to do. So let me actually show you what it does with this quick video, screen video shot from my Z Fold 5. So I want to show you how we use Air Music on. In this case, I'm using the Samsung Z Fold 5. So like I said, I use YouTube Music, so I'm gonna first open YouTube Music, all right? And YouTube Music will open up. And you'll see here, well, there's a song playing here, right? Now, if it was an Apple device, I can hit up here and basically choose Bluetooth and other devices and stream it to that, but I can't. So what I do now in this case, and I'll have to lower the volume, but as I hit play, all right? Now it's playing, but now I need to open the Air Music app because it's going to, in the background, do what we need. What I'm gonna do is go to the Air Music and it's gonna show all the receivers that it finds in my home, all right? And I know this symbol here, where it says Office, is AirPlay 2, all right? And these are the volumes. So it also streams to DLNA, Bluetooth, and so on. So right now the receivers it's picking up is the office, the den, guest bathroom, primary bedroom, Bose, one link, which interestingly is a combo um, carbon monoxide smoke detector with also uh, Alexa and Google in it. Also I have outdoor TVs as well, but the master bed, outdoor kitchen speakers, guest bathroom, patio front, you get the idea. So these are all the different zones of audio I have in my home. And I just have to hit one of these. So let me go ahead and hit all, uh, Office just to show you. Start recording your casting, sure. Go back 
to Air Music where we're at. And we are playing through the office speaker now. You can see here, this is where you control your audio. All right. You could also go on to settings, you could rename office, additional delay, and so on. But you can see the different devices we have here and settings will be different for each type of device. Let's go to settings. You have your general settings, your airplay settings, DLMA, and so on. So there are a lot of different features within this app and settings you can set. Under general settings, you can see, and pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna change that, but under airplay, you can see the audio settings, audio delay. So you can do that as well. But I'll tell you, I'm very happy with this app. Five dollars, it's a steal because it accomplishes what I need it to accomplish. And that is streaming music from my Android device to my multi-room, multi-zone audio and every different speaker in my home. I give it a five out of five. It, it did, it, it did exactly what my iPhone did, my iPad and I this and I that, it sent the music to my speakers from my receiver. So it did the job. So I give it um, five out of five stars recommend spending that five dollars um, it also uses DLMA Bluetooth all of it okay but I specifically needed it for the airplay too and it works seamlessly amazing no hiccups no nothing so go get it if you're an Android user if not really I don't know what else is out there if you know what else is out there let me know in the comments if I'm missing something let me know if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe Please hit the like button if you like it. If you don't like it, well, we'll make the next one better for you. All right? Thanks again. Thanks for coming.